showing you how to improve access to your digital world. Accessible Forms in Adobe Acrobat DC. This is another example of a file that we've opened up in Adobe Acrobat Pro to build into an accessible form. The first field we have is a standard text field. We type in our field name, click on all properties, and add the tooltip. Next, we move on to this list. Click on the list, drop it in, type in list, and click all properties. Then we move over here to options, and we're going to start with the first color, click add and it adds it to the item list and it shows up here. Then we're going to type in the rest of the colors. I'm going to pause the video here until I have it all done. Once you have the list completed, you might want to resize your box. So that they fit and can be seen the entire list. If you don't want the whole list to be seen, you'll probably want to do a drop down. So we're next going to work on a drop down, which is this icon. We click and put the box here, drag it in case the text is large. And we double click, we change the name to drop down, tooltip. Enter your choice of a car. The options. Adding Toyota and so forth. And we'll pause the video again. When I get to the end of the list, I can then sort it if I choose to put it in alphabetical order. And of course, I haven't put in every type of car there is. It would take forever to type that, so I'm skipping that, leaving the list as it is. And if you choose to have a particular car highlighted here, just like purple is highlighted up here, you can choose whatever particular model you want, and it will stay like that until they drop it down. Now, I've got my list up, but I have this text under here that I had created in Word, and I want to get rid of this for both the drop down and for the list. I go to Tools, Edit PDF, and you see it highlights the content on the screen. So I can highlight this content here, and I can hit Delete. I can do the same here. Now I might have to fix this because the, the field is actually showing up on top of the text. So I'm going to click on the screen and I'm going to click on my prepare form and I'm going to move this form over here. And that doesn't look very good. So now I have to go back to Edit PDF and click on this box. OK. So what I do is I highlight the text and change the justification, which is right here. Once you're done editing the text and it looks the way you want it, you want to go back to prepare your form 
and I actually want to move this piece again back over here like this maybe just line it up here and I want to work with these buttons so I'm going to scroll a bit and it says okay this is to add the button so I click here and I'm going to drop that on top of there and you see that it's currently filled so I'm going to go to all properties and call this the reset button actually I'm just going to call it reset and type in that as a tooltip but then I'm going to go to appearance and make my fill color no color hit close now I want to resize this image border like this and I'm going to double click again because I don't have it doing anything I'm going to go over to actions click on select it reset a form I click add and I choose which fields I want reset on the form and I click OK and then close next I come up and add another button over print And I'm going to go to all properties and do the same thing again. First, I'm going to give it a no fill color. And then I'm going to go and type in the tooltip. Click close. Then form this down like this. Double click again. Go to actions. Execute a menu item click add choose file print click close the last thing we want to do is go up here and add a signature so we click this icon and drop it down here have it fill the line and then double click it Go to general and type in the tooltip. And that's basically all we have to do. Of course, we have to save our file. And we're going to save it here on my desktop. And that's it. We have finished making an accessible second form. This ends our part two of building accessible forms in Adobe Acrobat Pro DC.